know, the news you trust. This is Channel 6 News, 10 at 10. Two communities are on edge tonight after learning about reports of an attempted abduction. Investigators in Blair, Nebraska and Mapleton, Iowa are on the lookout for a suspect. And as Aaron Murray explains, it's just the latest event that has inspired more people to learn self-defense. Angie Jensen is learning self-defense to be ready for those unexpected moments. You can't always count on somebody else to be there. I am in charge of myself. Nobody else is. And the recent discovery of the three Cleveland women who were held captive for 10 years only adds to Jensen's motivation. I travel here and there for work by myself sometimes. Um, I have two small children and, and my husband's not always home. Not that I have ever felt unsafe, but I didn't want to be unprepared. Now I need to create distance. Krav Maga instructor Mike Kassenbaum says crime is always evolving, so people should too. I really agree that everyone should know how to defend themselves. We do fire drills, we do uh, tornado drills, but we don't spend a lot of time on self-defense drills. But one of the things you really want to do is just be aware of your surroundings. That way you can be ready for the unexpected. I'm glad that I'm more prepared than some people. Um, not 100% sure of my abilities. I haven't been doing this that long. Um, but I do feel like I could defend myself a lot better than I could have three months ago. We do have the suspect description of those two recent local attempted deductions online at WOWT.com. But you can also get that information on our Channel 6 Facebook page. John Mallory.